Good morning. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And it is a happy Friday. Uh, this is uh, our Father's Day weekend kickoff. Um, a lot of us have already started celebrating. I know in my household, we look forward to the whole weekend to be able to celebrate um, my husband because he is an awesome father in spite of you know and i'm saying this in spite of because sometimes when you talk to your older children they don't necessarily have a clear understanding of what parenting actually looks like but parenting does not stop at 18 years old and i'm gonna tell you why it doesn't stop at 18 years old because a lot of times you know the the government tells us that 18 years old is when they reach adulthood, but we know as parents that they need us far beyond that moment. And they need us for guidance and they need us for um, support in all different type of areas of their life. But even at that age, they still decide that they want to be adults and they don't want to necessarily take uh, heed to wisdom sometimes, but we still have to do our job and be parents. So. With that being said, we are looking forward to it. Um, we just want to put a smile on my husband's face this weekend. So that's what we intend on doing. And I wanted to also mention that this is the raspberry leaf. If you didn't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This is the raspberry leaf pills. This is the raspberry leaf tea. Okay, so raspberry leaf is used to help when you have uh, menstrual cramps, bloating, all of the things that goes on with PMS and um, your cycle. Well, y'all know I took the raspberry tea pills and the uh, tea, right? Well, I just wanna give you all a full overview of it because at first I was kinda iffy. I was iffy because it delayed my period by a week. But let me just say this, when my period did come on, this has been one of the most easiest uh cycles that i have had in a long 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 time like when i say a long time i can't even tell you the last time i had a cycle to where i was actually able to be up and functioning and not hurting and not um legs not hurting and you know just you know not being able to move around too much because you know a lot of us experience real heavy cycles this not only lightened it up, but I did not experience a lot of cramping with it at all. Now, initially when I first took the raspberry leaf tea and pills, I did experience a lot of cramping the, the initial time that I took it. But I took it for like a week and I noticed that, okay, the very first day I took it, I experienced a lot of cramping and all of that. But as the time went on, that went away. And then once my cycle actually started, I didn't have any cramping and all of that. So I'm, I think I'm going to stick with it. So that, that's my review on it. I think I'm going to stick with it. So that's that on it. All right. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to talk about this toy at the end of my video because this is Father's Day and it does look like a flashlight. But, you know, we got some other stuff going on with it. <laughs> These just came in today. So... I was hoping that they came in, you know, in time enough for Father's Day, and they actually did. All right. So, y'all, Generation Z has decided to cancel Destiny's Child, Destiny Child's uh, song, Cater to You. I read the article, and these chaps, and I'm saying chaps because that's what they is, these chaps say the song sound like slavery. I'm like, you know what? First of all, if you don't know who Generation Z is, Generation Z is 2000 and beyond. So any child that's born year 2000 and beyond, that will be my, my children's. In other words, we're Generation um, X, right? No, 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 I'm sorry. Are we X? I think I'm Generation X. Well, anyway, this would be our children, which is Z. 
Now, I don't know where the fuck we fucked up at. I don't know where we dropped the ball at. I don't know where the fuck we went wrong at. I don't know. And this, I'm going to tell you now, this is going to be a lot of cussing in this video because I don't know where the fuck we went wrong. But these chaps say that Destiny Childs catered to you sound like slavery. First of all, I decided to pull the lyrics up to the song because I had to go back and listen to the song myself to see where do this sound like slavery. The first line of the song says, baby, I see you working hard. Oh, here we go. Let's get into this shit. This lets me know right now that this song, 9 out of 10, is dedicated to a man that get out there and bust his ass every day. Yeah, they get out there and work hard and bust his ass every day. This tells me nine times out of ten, he got somebody to go out there and bust his ass and work hard for. Which is probably his wife and his kids or his woman and his kids. He get out there and he go to work every day and bust his ass. Okay, baby, I see you working hard. First of all, men and women, we do completely different types of jobs. A lot of times as women, our jobs is in humanities. We doing service sector jobs. Well, we are out there maybe, and I'm not saying that our, our work is not hard, but what I'm saying is when I look at the type of work that men do, like my husband used to do commercial air conditioning, a lot of people think air conditioning, oh, cool. No, 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 no. Air conditioning means that he got to go out there and heat and fix some shit because you hot. That means that when he show up to your, your business, the plant, or anywhere he going to fix air, he ain't in necessarily no comfortable environment. Because it's broke and he got to go there and fix it. So that means he working in the heat. When I see these, all of this um, road construction and all of this stuff going on in our city, I don't really see women out there like talking about it. If I see a woman, she out there with a flag or a stop sign telling you to stop and go. But she's still out there in the heat. But a lot of the hard work that's being done, normally I see men doing it. When I see houses being built... I don't normally see women out there digging foundation. I don't. I don't normally see women, <coughs> excuse me, doing the electrical work. In other words, a lot of these jobs that men go out there and work, even if women are working on the side of them, most times the men are doing the more grittier, harder type of work. All right. <coughs> excuse me. It says, I want to let you know that I'm proud. Let you know that I admire what you do. This is nothing different than me teaching the women in wife school to have admiration for the person that get out there and make shit possible. Y'all talking about, well, I get out there and I make shit possible too. But the thing is, you shouldn't be the one that's responsible. See, if we follow the order and the way things are supposed to go, then we don't necessarily take on that level of responsibility. Anything that we do is just to help out. It's just a little extra. Meaning, for example, if, if me and my family don't go on a trip, we ain't gonna die. But it ain't gonna stop our mortgage from being paid. Because that's not my responsibility. I'm just, I'm just reading the lyrics. This is the part that they say... Well, I don't know about my life would be purposeless without you. But well, let me just say this here. We got to go back to the garden. The garden of Eden. Y'all know I'm a faith-based teacher. So if, this, if, if you off into some other stuff and some new ideas at this point in your life and the blood of Jesus don't work for you, go ahead and log off. This ain't for you. I'm telling you right now, this ain't for you. Because I know a lot of people that got off into a lot of this other spiritual stuff and the blood don't work for them no more. And that's fine if that's how y'all moving. But this ain't for you. In the Garden of Eden, Adam was created first. And when God decided to create Eve, he created her for one purpose only. So that Adam could have a helpmate. That was her purpose. He told them. He didn't tell Adam. He didn't tell Eve. He told them, T-H-E-M, in Genesis, he told them, be fruitful and multiply. And he wasn't just talking about children. He was talking about multiplying in every aspect of life, with your creativity, with your, your, uh, your ideas, with the way you do things. In other words, multiply and make your house a home. In other words, he told them to multiply in every aspect of life. 
So that lets me know right there that my husband and I, we are put here to work together, meaning that I'm a part of his purpose and just as well, he is a part of mine. In other words, them children that I birthed into the world, I couldn't do it without his seed. My children give me purpose. When I birthed Gabrielle into the world, I looked at her and I said, I have to go back and get my high school diploma for you. Because I was a high school dropout when I had her, but she gave me purpose. I could not have had that purpose without the help of Spencer Parker's seed. So a lot of times, I think what is happening is we as parents are not sitting down and explaining to our children, which is Generation Z, how all of this stuff is supposed to go. Because they're not understanding that you can have a purpose in life as far as your occupation, but there are other things that you can have purposes in life for as well. Just like me with my occupation. Spencer plays a major role in the purpose because I can't teach the way I teach without hit the experiences that I go through with him. Generation Z, and I, because I, I keep wanting to say X, and I have to make sure that I'm saying Z. <coughs> Excuse me, Generation Z want to have all of these opinions about everything. And then our grown ass is going to share this shit that the churn's saying. Generation Z want to have all of these opinions and their asses just got off the titty. Half of Generation Z still living in a household with people that got to take care of them. So Generation Z is forming an opinion about a world that they have not even really got out there and lived in. But what kills me is when our overgrown asses Get up there and amen that bullshit that Generation Z talking about. And a lot of people say, well, Generation ain't seen nothing different. Generation ain't seen no men that's deserving to be catered to. Well, I fought Generation Z mama. I fought Generation Z grandmother because we had all control of who we brought into our life. See, a lot of times... We speak all of this negativity over our children's head. I saw a man that was celebrating graduating from paying child support. When First of all, I'd have been a child support worker. A child support worker for years. Right here in the state of Louisiana, I was a child support enforcement officer. And what I saw in the child support system was, it, it was one-sided. Because the thing is, I can go down there and I can apply and I can put you on child support, but then I can make it hard for you to see your children. And I can make it hard for you to see your children and have a relationship with your children based on your finances. See, you got an income assignment order attached to your payroll, meaning that that child support come out regardless of what you got going on in your life right now. Your car could be broke down and you can't even barely get to work. But your children's mother don't have to be understanding about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have seen men literally lose everything that they've worked for because of a child support order. So the thing is, I don't feel no type of way when you celebrate about doing what you were supposed to do. If you got a diploma, that means that you didn't have no arrearages. That means that your payments was made on time every month. That means that whatever was going on in your life, it didn't matter because your child didn't lack. But then I got these other women on the other hand saying, I don't understand how he's celebrating about not having to be responsible for his child. No, 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 no. The thing is, he has been responsible. He did what he had to do regardless of what was going on in his life. And the thing is, you got the money, you took it, and you did whatever you wanted to do with it. And he had no say-so about it. See, I'm not one of these people that's one-sided. I look at things for what it actually is. But the thing is, these type of people that collect the child support and still make it hard for you to see your children and still talk down on men because the relationship didn't work out, 
and still see that this man had moved on and got married, but you won't let your children even have a relationship with the other siblings over there. You the type of you the type of people that are breeding up what we see in Generation Z right now. These children that are entitled, these children that don't cherish nothing, these children that feel like everything's supposed to go their way, these children that feel like sacrifice ain't supposed to happen on no type of level, these children that don't understand that marriage is teamwork, relationships are teamwork, these children are so one-sided and backwards, but these are the children that got the Jordans whether they work for them or not. These are the children that have their cell phone, and even if they don't keep up the grades, you they get to keep their phone. These are the children that go out there and do shit, and there are no consequences attached to whatever it is they do, and then you try to come along and correct them, and then they'll tell you, you don't tell my child nothing. But this is Generation Z. Who can't nobody tell nothing to who go around and want to counsel anything that makes them suffer in any type of way or counsel anything that holds them accountable in any type of way. This is Generation Z. But a lot of times they parents right there along with them with that foolishness or should I say that bullshit. Don't want you to tell them nothing, but you 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 want them to be rewarded. In other words, uh, Lakeisha ain't got to make good grades, but Lakeisha birthday coming up, and you still better get her something because it's her birthday. But see, in my house, if you don't do what the fuck you're supposed to do, then guess what? Ain't no birthday for you from your mama or your daddy. But you'll sit up there and tell Lakeisha, your dad ain't hitting no shit because you failed and you got to do summer school and he ain't get you nothing for your birthday. So Lakeisha growing up and she said, I wish I would say cater to you and my dad ain't give me nothing for my birthday. But Lakeisha ain't going to say I ain't do shit in school. Lakeisha mama ain't going to say Lakeisha ain't do shit in school. All Lakeisha mama going to say is your dad ain't shit. Men ain't shit. Men ain't hitting on nothing. Men don't do nothing but disappoint you. And you ain't got no business catering to him and fixing him no food on no real plate. And you ain't got no business encouraging him and admiring him and elevating him and lifting him up. But we wonder how Generation Z got this negative mentality about men and manhood and men that's doing what they supposed to do. In other words, Generation Z say you can do what the fuck you supposed to do. And I still ain't going to clap for you. I still ain't going to pat you on your back. I'm still not going to tell you you did a good job. You raising a generation of motherfucking haters. Jealous hearted. Want to know why they can't be happy for one another and why they have no remorse about killing each other up. It starts with us as their parents. Baby, I can preach a whole word on this. Let me tell you something real grown women. Destiny's child ain't counsel. Cater to you ain't counsel. I'm catering this weekend. Matter of fact, I cater every day. Real, real women understand what catering to real men look like. We don't we we cater and we don't we don't think twice about it. We cater and we do it gladly. Why? Because we able to rest in these men authority. We able to go to sleep at night and know that everything's taken care of. And if you I, I had one on there, Lord Jesus, she said, <laughs> what did she say? Something about um she ain't never seen it. She don't know what that look like. I just wanted to say fault your mama. I just want to say that so bad, baby, fought your mama. She picked him. Anybody that came over your head, your mama brought him there and she picked them. And let me tell you something. I have seen women pick some horrible men to come over their children's heads. I have seen it with my own eyes. I have seen women bring men over their children's heads and these women knew that them men wasn't hitting on shit. 
So at the end of the day, if you want to hold somebody accountable, baby, hold your mammy accountable. Hold your mom accountable. Hold your mama, your mother, the matriarch of your family. You hold her accountable for bringing that bullshit into y'all life as children. But you don't hold the man that's doing right by you responsible for the shit that your mama did. And I done told y'all that over and over and over and over again. If your mama stayed with a man that was a crackhead, you better believe she stayed and she picked him. And at what point are we going to hold these women, ladies, our mothers and matrons, at what point are we going to hold them accountable just as hard as we hold these men accountable? And I'm going to say this here too. Generation Z. If you got all these mental hangups, about the people that your mama chose or the people that your daddy chose or all of this shit that went on throughout the time that you grew up, baby, get you some counseling. Go sign up. Go sign up for you some counseling. Go help yourself so that you don't bring this bullshit over into your, your children's lives. So you don't bring this these hangups over into your children's lives. You go get you some help. Because the thing is, you can't go back and undo and fix what your mama did. She made bad choices. That didn't make her a bad person. That don't mean you don't have to love her. She just made bad choices when it came down to men. That's all. So we're going to celebrate. We're going to uplift these men, especially the ones that have been great fathers or father figures. Because we have some people who don't necessarily have fathers in the household, but they have people who have been great father figures to them. So this is their weekend. All right. So of course y'all know we had the other pocket pussy for $12.99. If, if you want something more exclusive, I do have it. Let me see. Okay. Hold on a minute now. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm trying to see what end we taking this out on because we, we got something up in here. Okay. All right. So, there is a piece in here that you have to remove. Yeah, I'm glad they kind of got that up in there. They'll let you know it's brand new. Ain't nobody done been fucking a pussy but you because you, hey, you got to take all of that off the inside of it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. She, she is all the way intake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she feels real. Y'all see I'm touching on she feels real. Okay. Make sure y'all come get y'all. If you y'all saw the video when the girl gave her grandpa one of these and the grandma was sitting in the bed, that's what made me order these. I said, oh yeah, this is real cute. Real, real, real cute. But these flashlights are in stock here at the PPG store for Father's Day. You all enjoy your weekend. I'm about to go get my weekend started because y'all know if y'all know anything about Louisiana down south, I got two buckets of chitlins that I got to go clean because I'm serving chitlins on Sunday. And if you don't know nothing about chitlins, that is a delicacy here in Louisiana. Yes, a lot of people don't eat them, but some people do. And my husband happened to be one of the people that absolutely love them. So I'm about to go and put in some wrist work for him this weekend. And we can't wait to give him his big gift. We are super excited. You all enjoy your weekend. We still have Father's Day baskets here at the store. We still have pocket pussies. Of course, we have Rhino. We got everything you need to get that dick right for the weekend. All right? So y'all come see us here at the PPG store. The website is down below, www.dppgstore.com. Oh, let me say this here, and I'm about to wrap this video up. If you have not um, subscribed or added yourself to my email list, you need to do so. Because they had some a really good blog that went out, and it was about a uh, high girl summer. And one of my ladies actually emailed me back, and she said, "Miss Sharonda, I really think you should do a video on this high girl summer blog that you did." So guess what? Next week I will do a video on the high girl summer blog that was actually emailed out. But you know, check your emails. That's where all the good stuff is. That's where the education is. Check your emails. If you're not on my YouTube, register, subscribe to my YouTube. Register for my email, subscribe to my YouTube. Get all this good knowledge that's, that's going forward. All right, you all be blessed. Enjoy your weekend.